Really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monephony's green puke was predicting the tragedy. <laughs> yeah, what does orange puke ah. represent? Oh, the puke's color is normal now. I guess she was predicting this. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. God. God, the body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to start to come running. What? I honestly think it was Sumugi. I don't know why. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, how she killed them or, like, with all this stuff. But Sumugi's just giving me some bad vibes. You know what I'm saying? Tenko, seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? Tenko, Gonta, so sorry. Gonta no could protect you. Wait a minute. Juichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? No, I don't know what's happening. I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, um I guess for now you should st we should start the investigation right away. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko. Yes? Two different culprits? Huh? What happens in the event where there are two murderers by two people? I asked this question all the way back in Danganronpa 1. I was like, what happens if, if two separate people just kill someone? And you guys were like, eh, they never explained. What if there were two blackened? We will need to find them both at the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Huh? What would happen? Monodum, what would happen? What would happen? Why do you look lost too, Monodum? I thought you were going to run into things instead of Daddy. I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do, really. I don't know. Oh, man. They're totally... They're all disorganized. If you can't decide on the class trial's objective, then won't we... Then we won't know what to investigate. Father, Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No way. Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. And there he is. Oh, it's our fault that Daddy ended up like that. Oh, it's all your fault, Manephany. Daddy, help. We don't know what to do on our own. We gotta save... We gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. That won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's right. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand that because you've never been... You've never been loved before, Monodum. Now, they're being a little bit robophobic towards monodom now, wouldn't you say? Yo, Rocky, thank you for the follow. Daddy, I love you, so please go back to normal. Father. I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Yeah. Aw, you're making me blush. Boo! I just a doll? I'm back! Were you all good? Were you good while I was away? What the fuck? Yeah. Ew, why is he licking the hairless one? With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. He just actually went to fucking... He just actually went on a vacay. <laughs> oh, that tickles. Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Daddy, your time feels amazing. This better not awaken anything in me. Game, stop being weird. <laughs> Weird. No, no. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is to just leave whenever you get permission, whether you get permission or not. Um. Aw, uh, wait. So then, who's this baldy then? Yeah. Oh, that's just a part timer I got to cover for me while I was gone. Hey. Here's your pay, like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here. Huh? I thought you were supposed to just be relaxed. Huh? Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Yeah. Oh, that's right. What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? I'll answer that. Well, I have an answer for that. It comes. It first come, first serve. Huh? First come, first serve. Hey, um... The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. 
In other words, if the Blackened who killed Angie isn't the same as the one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the Blackened. Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. What? Uh, what? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. So what? They... It's just... They just... Nothing? It's a nothing kill? They're not gonna get convicted next trial? Next trial, they're not gonna be convicted? It's nothing. They just killed them. They are a killer, but they are not a blackened, and they cannot be executed for it. So... It's just, it's free. It's essentially just a free kill. So why wouldn't people just like start killing now? What, that, that, that would, I feel like that could just cause like anarchy right now. Cause then like one person could just like kill everyone right now. Cause it wouldn't count. Anyway, oh, I'll add this to the school regulation so I can, you can review it later. This is actually a very complex with the two black and the thing. Uh, I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder, too. Monokuma file three. Father! Boy, everything's going so smoothly now that father's running this, uh, this again. Things again. Leader's got to be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. Oh, Monodom's killing them. Monodom's killing both of them next trial. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live... I will never let any of you go. Uh, he just left us behind. Why is he saying he'd never let us go? That's why he's so amazing. Please lick me some more, daddy. Fucking weirdos. Get out of here. I don't want to be in the vicinity of this group. Oh, Monodum's fucking losing it. Monodum's playing and he's plotting. So, to make sense of all that... If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's no. killer. We don't even know if there is a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True, we should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting so excited. Piece of shit! You fucking psycho. Shuichi! Shuichi, this is bad. Huh? Huh? <sighs> this is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help but right you know. now. So, this is where you need to step up. Listen, up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Uh, okay. Am I gonna include Mono Cub's incestuous relationship with Mono Cub in the timeline video? No, believe it or not, I doubt that it's very relevant. So, probably not. All right. All right, let's check first check the Mono Kuma file first. The victim is Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The v only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck? How is this fucking killer getting to the back of these people's neck? What the fuck? They came up from under the, under the floorboards. Were they in the cage? Hmm. The stab wound on her neck, the same as Angie's cause of death. It doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Curse? God, not again. Hey. Damn, Maki's getting a face full of his titties. What? Curse? Kaito, calm down. No way there's a curse. Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around. That's a if cute little image. Die. That's a cute image. Oh! A dull sound reverberated through the room. Ding dong, bing bong. A body! The victim this time was Kaito Mamura. Da da da. Are you okay? Kaito, are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad. But for a different reason. I'm gonna get some fresh air, so I'll leave you in this. I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. Kaito left the room, still a bit wobbly. Um, 
Um, we should resume the investigation. Time is of the essence. That's correct. True. We haven't the time to mourn Tenko's death, as our own lives are at risk. This is... It's true, but Angie, and then Tenko... <laughs> and to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko! Oh, be? It all going to fault. Going to fail to protect friends again. <laughs> I think maybe Himiko gets to the end of the game. I feel like she's been through, like, way too much. She's been, like, sus way too many times. She was sus in Ryoma's trial. She went through, like, the this is now, like, her character arc for Tenko. It is, like, an Aoi and Sakura thing. I think Himiko might get to the end. Maybe Kokichi. Maybe Maki. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Maybe not Kokichi. You know what? Scratch Kokichi. Kokichi. Because I'm a detective. And it's magic. Well, It's too dark in here. We can't investigate even if we it. wanted to. Going to bring candles from other rooms to make this room bright, okay? No, that won't be necessary. Ah. I am also a glow stick. Ah, yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? Why? Show him, Kibo. Show him your new power. Good night, Mac. New power. Oh, he's like that guy from Sky High. I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. So, so Mew and Kibo have an alibi. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> shine on, shine on, shine on, you crazy fucking diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Diamonds in the sky. Oh, man. man, what a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. It's okay. But it's bright now, so we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Kibo's flashlight function. So it couldn't have been him, or else we would have seen a light enter the room. The ruined magic circle. Tenko's body. Let's investigate the ruined magic circle. It's the magic circle Kyo grew on the floor. Well, it was. At least it was. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well, was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? You feeling all right? You sound ridiculous. 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 I have performed many successful seances. Why, I've even had spirits enter my right body. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. But... In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Kyo? He seems depressed. I suppose it makes sense. Oh, Maki hurt his feelings. Mock magic circle Ki Ki Kori Kyo drew. Tenko's body. Stabbed in the back of the neck, A. Eh? Tenko's body. She took her last breath, crouched over like this. According to Monokuma file, only her... Her only injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. This wound was fatal. It must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream during the seance. Oh, wait. I did hear a giant wooden floorboard, a two by four crack in two. Didn't question it though. Understood, I will not say a word until the seance is over. Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the no. pain? Her death might not have been instant, but she could have the fuck? Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. She got stabbed and then just, like, took it? It was just like, ah, keep quiet. Huh? What do you mean? I feel like at the point where you've been stabbed, the seance is over. The seance has failed. Something has gone awry. You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With a wound this deep, the victim is, is too shocked to do anything except die. Oh, okay. There we go. Good. You're speaking from experience. Of course, quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that Either makes way. sense. The real question is, why was she, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. You're right, I don't see an obviously murder weapon around. That could be a clue. It was magic, Himiko. Thus, it was magic. Crooked floorboards. Oh, this floorboard is loose. And it's and it's the one right under Why? Tenko. Why is this floorboard loose? Correctly. It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the Why? seance. Yeah, it probably came loose during the seance. You know when you when the floorboards get ripped up? You just lift up a floorboard? 
That makes sense. It happened. It was just a seance. Oh, why would it come loose during the seance? A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have just come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. Probably. Ultimate detective, my ass. The marker stone. There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be the pebble. Rest your forehead there. We know what the stone is for. It's the rock that she's supposed to turtle on. Tenko had her forehead on this rock hunched over. She had to make herself small and fit inside the cage. How do two people get inside the cage? How does a killer move the floorboard and then kill her? How that, There's like no room. Mole squad. Sus. Ryoma was brought back to life. He's the only one who could have fit in the cage with Tenko. Uh, well, that's everything. I think. The white cloth? Is this sus? The white sheet we used for the seance. This was placed on top of the cage. He was the one who removed it. Magic. Is this... The cloth is pretty thick. Similar to the window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back... Look, there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But... But no hole in the fabric. Which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through the cloth, so it wasn't us. Okay. They came from inside the cloth. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. White sheet has been added. Da 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 In the wooden dog statue. It was on top of the cage. Very true. I do remember placing this on it. Hmm. The wooden statue is pretty I heavy. He said it was about 175 pounds. That's the weight of the two girls. Of two girls. What do you know about girls? Have you ever touched a woman besides your mother? Uh, um... God. I got fucking roasted. God damn, Maki. Fucking... Fucking, is, a, is another body discovery announcement gonna go off? Jesus. I'm what? I'm kidding, anyway. Jesus. Fucking killed me right there. Yo, what's up, Dark? Is this... How you doing? Is this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get out easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. God, I took offense to that joke. <laughs> God damn, it was fucking brutal. I mean, it was absolutely fucking... Devastating. Hey! Himiko, hey Himiko, be strong, Himiko. Don't if you shake Himiko that much, she's going to break. She's not, but she's not talking. It's like Himiko not even here. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Okay. Oh, Himiko, so sad. Himiko, so sad. And what a lame function. You should have, you should have made him like oh. Same thing. Cage? No cage. Gonta. Why? First Angie, then Tenko. Gonta so ashamed. Why Gonta no could protect friends? We gotta go close to Tenko. Ooh. It's a cage used in the seance. It looks to be around three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron okay. cage. Big enough for a person to fit inside. Yep. We know by the person we fit inside. Oh, we were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. I thought the cage was heavy. How is Himiko so strong? Hey. Himiko actually has fucking like six pack abs underneath her ma mage cloths. Uh, hey, look at this. Is this? A blood stain on the bottom of the cage. Probably Tenko's blood, yeah? That's true. Yeah, I imagine so. This spatter must have been when she was killed. Yo, Kokichi, Ma. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. What do you mean? Uh, which means Tenko was killed while she was inside okay. the cage. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the seance. Oh, she tipped it. I thought she just fucking... <laughs> But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. Then... If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, you would explain... That would explain the blood stain, right? If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted... Huh? Huh? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted? Huh? 
Wait, Himiko lifts up the cage and that like triggers the death of Hem Tenko? That doesn't make sense. That is a possibility. What does that mean? What? 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 I don't understand that statement at all. Wait. When the cage was lifted... Wait, I think you're right. Tenko was under the cage before the seance. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. True. If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain this blood stain. I don't know what the fuck that means. If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, the blood stain. Well, perhaps the killer wasn't killed during the seance, but right the exact moment the cage. I don't understand what the fuck that means. I said things uh, that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. What? Like someone killed her as Tenko lifted it, but the cage is see-through. The cage is see-through. How do you get? How does someone get stabbed in the neck? When we can see her. Huh? Because. Crying won't bring Tenko back, and if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tenko and for all of us. I guess. You're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. I think Sumugi's kind of sus. I don't know why. She's just kind of like... I don't know. I don't know. Can I analyze the cage again? Iron cage. What is this square? I don't fucking know. Whatever. Oh, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand that hint. Who haven't I talked to? Kyo? That cannot be. Why did this? I knew it. Kyo, I know the murder was pretty but shocking. Of course. of course, I am shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? We performed all of the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned by that than the murder. Oh, yes. oh if we performed the cage child again, the summon Tenko spirit this, this time... Stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Didn't she get killed during... Did she get killed during the I seance? See. Yes. True. It may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance failed. Is that so? Whatever. Just hurry. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium, position herself like a turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put the cage over her. We put the fucking sheet over her. We put the dog on her. And, she, and then we, we sang a song. Blew out the candles. We sang a song. And the, ah, fuck. I hit my funny bone. Ah, shit. Finally, we all sang the cage style song. The seance should have been complete, ah. but... Oh, now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. Oof. God, I hate hitting my funny bone. Gonk. I thought it was just part of the song. It's a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. Someone tripped. Standing in a corner, we tripped. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyo knows something? What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. We all, as we called out, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all of the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. The four of us removed the dog statue. Then I took off the white cloth. And Tenko was dead. Himiko ran over to the cage the moment she lifted it. Tenko was dead. Hmm. Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. But it would not be difficult in such darkness. Besides, she was inside the cage, and yes? Then when was she well, killed? That's... Yes, that is a problem. Yes. There is another problem. Oh. And that is, wherever did this... Why ever did the seance fail? I simply... I cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner. Did someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was a clearly... Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham. Well, the seance probably failed because the, the, the medium was murdered and someone else entered the room under the floorboards, messed with the salt, maybe. Maki never was the one to pull punches. During... Sound during the seance. 
I want to leave this room. I want to investigate the other rooms. Candles. Candles hung on the wall. They're the only source of light in this room. There's no windows in this room. Without candles, it was pitch black. But how did the culprit kill Tenko in complete darkness? What, what, do I, what else do I have to investigate? Tokichi? A lame function. Mew? This investigation is over and shut, and it's all thanks to me for giving Kibo his new function. Now then, cunt foo killers is obvious. One of you stupid assholes signed up to uh, to do this is this bullshit seance in the first no. place. Ah, no, not necessary. Not necessarily. Huh? Seriously, the seance was not clearly set up to lure in and kill her? How could someone who wasn't in this room kill her? Do you believe that Tenko was killed during the seance? There's no other possibility, shit for brains. God, you don't even know that. The dog? I've investigated the dog. It's true that Tenko was alive before the seance began. You have to investigate the corner of the room from the zoomed in thing. Ah, uh, is this the point of no return, Tenko? You must not speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was definitely alive. Tenko answered Kyo, so at that point, she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit, I, I, I understand what happened. Kind of. Well, I don't understand what happened, but uh, this is not the things I'm confused of. What exactly, when, when exactly, what time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? That may be an important point of this case. When? Zoomed in? Ah, this is not the... the... Tenko's body. The corner? I investigated the floorboard. I can't investigate the hole. Oh! This fucking thing! There's a small opening from the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but still. A hole. Looks like there's a space under there, too. Oh, hold on. I can see something below. It looks like looks like something dropped down there. Huh? Wait, something dropped down there? Wait, was something dropped from there? Hole in the corner. Wasn't... Hey. Me and Kokichi. Wasn't that Himiko's corner? Stashed weapon? Possibly, but wasn't that Himiko's corner? If I recall correctly, I was at the front left. Kokichi was at the front right, which is why we blew out the candles. If I'm not mistaken, Korokio was back right. She was back left. But someone could have also just, like, gone in. We were all singing. Tenko, I mean, Himiko was singing her heart out. Listen, chat. Himiko was already singing her heart out in pitch black. Someone could have snuck by her. After we checked everywhere else, why don't we go under the floorboards right. to see for ourselves? By right, way. let's do it. It seems pretty dark down there. What should we use That's for true. lights? Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light from up here, that should be fine. Then I'll go get a candle. Remove that floorboard so we can go down. Okay, got it. It's Gundam's earring! down there. Why would Himiko kill Tenko though? Yeah, I don't I don't believe Tank. I don't believe Himiko is sus. Uh I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. I don't think she's sus at all. I think you're all fucking too easily influenced. Uh then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floorboards. <laughs> she's just she <laughs> the Himiko just had enough of Tenko's shit. <laughs> this is a lot of space, a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move here pretty easily on all fours. Yeah, it's a fucking big ass space. Okay. Let's look around for clues. Well, uh, I'd be pr it'd be pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling down in this dusty uh, place. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? A sickle that does have a curve to it. There's a sickle here, and there's blood all over it. There's blood on the sickle. Is fresh. That, that, this is it. The murder weapon. Is this... This came from my research lab. Huh? It did. Well... A sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality, and you can hide it under your clothes. Wow. If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade was about six okay. inches. And since Tenko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But... But even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko with this cage? That fits through the floorboards, up and around. The blade could fit through the gaps of the cage, but could it reach her neck? Why do I think it came from the outside of the cage? Why am I dumb? That's true. The cage is three feet high. You would have stabbed through it with a six inch blade. Why are we dumb? 
Oh, oh, well, it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's impossible. Then her posture is is the question. Hey. hey, if the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, That's right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle under the floor in the, in the dark. Or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. I think it's almost guaranteed the, the killer was under the floorboards, crawling around like a sneaky snake. I don't think they were in the room. It's a, it was like a, it's a Teru Teru esque situation. Again, now question is, what is this blood stain? Dried blood. There's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboard. It's pretty far away from where Tenko's blood is dripping. It's under the same floorboard, just at different ends. Why is there blood here? Hey. And why is it dry? Hey, the back of this floorboard has blood on it too. You're right, there's a little bit of blood on the underside of this what floorboard. Can Tenko's blood splatter here when she got killed? That's true. I wonder. I can't really be sure yet. Okay. But these blood stains here are completely dry. There must be some reason these particular stains are dry. The rafters in the art room, maybe? You know, like, like, this is like, this is like, like a floorboard from Angie's killing. And this is where Angie's blood came from. And then for whatever reason, they did this. But then that would, that would very much lead to the susness of Keo. Because then after killing Angie, they would have had to suspect that the, that they would have to perform a seance. And, and they would have to set up this room. That, like, it would happen. They would have to know, like, what series of events would then begin to take place. And that Keo would have offered to, like, done a seance. And then they would have had to set the whole thing up beforehand. But I don't believe it because Keo was singing. Unlike Teru Teru, Keo was singing the entire time with us. I don't think he'd kill someone over the seance thing. I think he's very much, like, in, like he likes the seance more than he'd be like, well, I want to kill someone. I don't fucking know. Dried blood under the floor. Loose floorboard. I, th I think it maybe came from Angie's room. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. Fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. That it is. Oh! A cut cross piece. Oh, there is a cut cross piece. Oh, look, part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut off. It's near the loose floorboard, and the portion missing is about the same width, too. And from what I can see of it, that's true. it wasn't broken off naturally. This was cut by someone. Some sort of robot with a functioning buzzsaw action? Bzzz. Or maybe a laser. There should be saws in the warehouse, so they could have used that. The question is why? Mm. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard. So it might not fall if the portion is missing. So what purpose did this serve? The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. Did the culprit... If the culprit did all of this, then why? This is definitely fucking different. I definitely, unlike Ryoma's, I'm not following... I'm not following this series of events. Also, a hole for the other room for the killer to have gone under the floorboards. Some of the woods have corroded and is broken off. You can see the next room. This is the wall of the empty room, right? Looks like there's a wood along the wall. This part has rotted away. Looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through That's here. True. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from the room to room by moving under here instead of using the no. hallway. True. But it would have been difficult moving around under the floorboard. We're under the floorboard moving around. We might... We did all right because we had a night. We had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. Maybe it was Kibo. Kibo does maybe have, like, some natural, like, see-in-the-dark functions. Or maybe Mew has some, like, night vision goggles. That, that might make it impossible to move around in here. Then could they, then they could have used a light like we're doing right now. Yeah. True. 
they used a light to move around under the floor. Is that possible? No, because then we would have seen it. It, could, it also could have been Gonta because Gonta was raised by wolves and probably has like night vision, night vision as well. I have no clue. Right? Maki, are you headed back up? Glad you asked. I was starting to get fed up with all of this dust. I don't know, but I kind of ruled out Gonta because I thought he was too swole to fit under the, the floorboards, which is why I thought it had to be someone like sort of slimmer. Like, I mean, Sumugi is kind of like busty, but I think she could fit under the floorboards. After Maki and I crawled from under the floorboard, we put the floorboards back and I returned and returned to our investigation. By the way, listen, I was just hypothesizing who had like who had like night vision goggles, you know? We've only been investigating the room. Are you sure that's wise? What do you mean? If Angie and Tenko have different killers, then the blackened we need to vote for is the culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma said. So instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Yes, of course. I think Dang and Rampa wouldn't actually have two black blackened. Maybe to mix things up, there might be two blackened. But I think maybe it's just the same killer. <laughs> but this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died, I need to reveal the truth of both of their deaths. Mm. Uh, well, I understand why you feel that way. But if you plan on investigating an the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. I want to go into the other room. I don't want to be in. I don't want to investigate Angie's death. When I came to the hallway. A scene more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded. What the fuck? He's lying. This is a fucking lie. He's he's memeing. He's fucking memeing. I fucking knew it. Got me for half a second. You fucking bullshit. Nah. That's a lie. Fucking. Did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real what? blood. Oh, what are you doing? Hmm. What a memester. What a little prankster. With the boy who cried wolf. But when he actually gets murdered, I'm gonna be like, good one, buddy. I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly, I stepped through the floorboard. Huh? You stepped through a floorboard? Jeez, that got me good. Because this, I tripped and I fell pretty hard. Got a minute? You're going to lose consciousness. Do it after you tell us everything. Ah, oh, sorry, my bad. I guess there was no cross piece supporting the floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> Wait, that was bad luck. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean? Huh? The cross piece was gone. I thought that the cross piece that was gone dreams. was. That's what the killing game in, is all about. In Tenko's place. Why would a cross piece be gone in the other room? We went under the floorboards under Tenko's murder. Why would there be another cross piece gone in another room? What the fuck? Killing game fans, hold your head high and Sus. watch with your own two eyes. I actually have no fucking clue about this 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 murder. One killer, two killers, how it happened, both scenarios, how they were both killed. I have no fucking clue. Baseball. All I know is, is that Tenko was killed under the floorboards with the scythe. That's the only thing that I do know. I don't know how Angie's locker room came to be. I don't know anything else. The only one thing I know is how it happened. Can't be beat. Behold, students, the entrance to the trial grounds. I guess time's up. Oh man, it's because of you guys. I didn't have time to check something. What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to research the seance again, so I brought the document with me. But unfortunately... Yeah. I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Is that the same seance? Kind of looks the same. Nah, I remember that little squiggle next to the entrance. It was the same seance. Yo perfectly reenacted the seance as was written in the document. He drew his magic circle in the same exact way as in the picture. Not only that, he used the same exact tools too. Nothing suspicious about the whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I'll tell you about it later. Kokichi is kind of <laughs> sus. At the class trials. Oh, see you there. Or, I mean, Kyo is kind of sus. Maybe, did I say Kokichi was sus? Or Kora Kyo is sus. Uh, Kokichi left and the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. 
Bloody Kokichi has been added. Uh, um, uh let's go to... That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see, so even she gets nervous sometimes. What are you staring at? Do you want to die? <laughs> Fucking Kokichi. What a god dang memester. God damn. Yeah, I do mix them up. They do have very similar names. And I hope you guys know when I'm when I mean Korikio and when I mean Kokichi. They have they have a lot of K's in their name. And I get mixed up. But chat, you know what that means? The trial. So that means we just have to save it. Till next time. I have no clue. I have no clue who murdered him. I have no clue who murdered him. Who did what? Anything. So, it's genuinely going to unfold before my very eyes during the trial. You do a love key scene? Nah. nah. No love key scene. Unless, do you guys want a love key scene? I'll do one. I'll do a love key scene. Just for you guys. How do I load it? Load. Is it going to be different every time? Continue. Yeah? So it's like RNG based? Sorry, sorry. Shuichi's getting... Shuichi's getting a little sad over... Over, uh, Kaede. Everyone but Kaede and Rantaro are around are alive. Morning. Love key. I want the love key scene. Same thing. I hope it's Tenko. I definitely don't hope it's Tenko. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going, keep going. I don't want to press B. B might, like, cancel it. Because it asked me if I want to use it. Does it ask me if I want to use it? Oh, yeah, there it is. If I press B, I feel like it might say no. Who is it? Who is it, chat? Tsumugi! I'm sus of you right now! Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal. Dude, I'm so sus of her right now! Hey, Shuichi! Suichi! Oh, she got a little pet name for me. Suichi. Huh? Would I? Pr would you prefer I called you Big Brother? No. Uh, well, I don't wanna. You don't wanna call me Little Sister, do you, Sweet Chi? Big Brother, Little Sister? Ah, oh, what's going on here? Jeez. Don't be nervous. I still call you Big Brother in front of Mom and Dad. This is her sexual fantasy? If they found out about us... Oh, Step Bro, huh? Step Bro, no. <laughs> I'm stuck. I wouldn't be able to fo be able to be with you. Ah, uh, it's just like some story from a light novel. Our parents remarried, and I got a brother, and I fell. Actual step, bro. I fell in love with him. What? Actually, I never thought that plain old me would be in such a flashy role. It's perfect, just like the big brother route in a dating sim, or I guess it's more like the sweet little sister route for you, huh, sweet chi? I see, so that's what's going on. It fits Sumugi, but it's a little heavy. Oh heavy shit, Doc. But I don't like you just because you're my big brother, Sweet Chi. Falling in love with someone who just happened to be your sibling, it's a popular cliche, but to think I'd end up experiencing it myself. Sumugi, don't call me that, Sweet Chi. If we're lovers, we should have nicknames for each other, right? Yes. Su tsuna tsunami. I don't fucking know how to come up with nicknames. Sorry. Uh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I feel off today. It's plain to see I'm being negative. What's gone to me? Um. Uh, times like this, I need you to cheer me up, Suichi. Hmm. Cheer you up? How? Huh? Don't ask me. I don't have enough experience in this sort of thing. Um. um so how about you? Put your hand on my cheek. 
Twitch cheek. Uh, okay. All right, I can do that. Just as I was told, I cupped Sumugi's cheek with my palm. Cupped. Sumugi sighed and covered my hand with hers. Ah, ah, this is so embarrassing. Ah. Sumugi released a deep breath and watched me closely through her glasses. It was such a seductive gaze, I almost forgot to breathe. Your hand, your hands are surprisingly big. Hey, you know what they say about big hands? Uh, um, oh, you think so? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's plain to see you're embarrassed. Yeah, Sumugi has dropped her plain shtick in modern day. She, she hasn't been saying plain. Uh, it's just that when you say things like that, it feels as though we're real lovers. Oh, he, I said that. I, we're, we're real lovers. Uh, you don't think we're real lovers? Sumugi's count, countenance shifted uh, to a look of foul I scorn. So you can't see me as anything more than your little sister. Are you just humoring your silly little sister by pretending to be her no. lover? No, that's not it. Sumugi's expression was inscrutable. She pulled my hand off her cheek uh. then. Whoa! <sighs> what? Give me a new... Slid her my finger into her mouth and started sucking it. Where's the new animation for this shit? Wait. Where's the where's the art for this? What are you doing? I lost my composure completely and yanked my finger from her mouth. I tried not to think about the fading warmth, the saliva cooling as it dried, lingering. <laughs> Was that a little too bold? But if I didn't take it that far. You wouldn't realize. Realize what? I want you to make me your real lover. W what? I want to become one with you. I want us to feel everything together. She battered her eyelashes at me in a way she was that was impossible to misinterpret. Her her eyes, her lips, her body, they begged me to take her. Oh my god. The rest of my life. That's how much I like you. Her lips a smile. She sauntered towards me. She spoke slowly, letting every syllable sink I in. You, sweet I felt like her voice had wrapped around my brain, caressing it. I couldn't help it. She had me! Wait, did I fucking... Did I just sex her up? Did I just- did I just get laid? I'm dead. Shuichi's dead. Oh my god, Shuichi actually? Holy shit. My man. Rising. My man. I didn't even get to- I didn't even get to sleep with Rumi. Kurumi just confessed her love, and that was it. God damn. More? No. No more. <laughs> Maybe we can start and end streams with it. Maybe we'll start next stream with it. But that is a class trial. Class trials do go pretty long. I have no idea. These scenes always end in sex. Kurumi's didn't. I don't think. Maybe it did. I don't remember that, but what a, what a what a note to end on, chat. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. <laughs> I'll be back uh I'll be back Monday and we'll do the chapter 3 class trial. So, yeah, we'll also get more love key scenes done. Who knows? will fulfill our Coomer quota. But I'll be back then. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you chilling, watching, enjoying. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Have a good, have a good time. <laughs>